I will speak a little louder, okay? <laughs> if I need to, I'll come to the podium and, and talk, but I like to move a little bit when I'm talking, okay? Let me, let me just start out by introducing myself. For those of you who don't know, um, my name is Jay Tita. This is the book that I wrote with my brother, Keone Tita. A lot of people think we're husband and wife, but we actually are brothers. Uh, um, and there's some, there's some letters after our names here. Uh, ND, this stands for Naturopathic Doctor, and that's not a well-known designation here in North Carolina. But I went to one of four schools in the country that trained primary care physicians in alternative medicine. So the difference between myself and a traditional doctor, an MD, is that I believe drugs and surgery all are the alternative, and diet and exercise should be primary medicine. Okay? So that's kind of where we're coming from. Uh, also, Keone is a licensed acupuncturist. So in this book, there's a little bit of the traditional Chinese medicine perspective um, in the book. And then uh, this designation here, CSCS, stands for Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. And that's just a special designation that personal trainers get when they work with uh, high-level athletes at the professional and collegiate levels. Okay, so we do some of that as well. But uh, I want you to pay attention to one thing about this book because it sounds like marketing hype. And hopefully by the end of this talk, uh, you will see that it's not. But if you look at a subtitle here, this says, Eat More, Work Out Less and actually lose weight while you rest. So that sounds like science fiction, right, to everybody in here. Yeah. So hopefully I'm going to convince you that it actually is not science fiction. Also, um, this is going to go fairly quick, about 35 minutes or so, 40 minutes, so there'll be plenty of questions at the end. So I'll take questions at the end, not during, if that's okay with everybody, okay? okay. Um, so here we go. Let's kind of get started here. And I want you to kind of just take a look at this picture here. and. Uh, there's a question at the top. It says, which of these two athletes are most muscular? And what you're looking at here is you're looking at track athletes, okay? So this person over here on the left, this is a sprinter, okay? If you ever seen the Olympics, you've seen these guys. They do 100-yard dash, that kind of thing. This person over here, this is a marathon runner. So we know what they look like, too. They exercise for hours and hours, right? So we can kind of see intuitively, right? All of us can see who's more muscular, this sprinter or this marathon runner. Sprinter. Right, so we all can see that, right? It's pretty easy to tell. The sprinter is indeed more muscular. Now, here's another question for you. Here is a sprinter on the left, a marathon runner on the right, and the question time, which of these two athletes is leaner? And by leaner, I mean which of these two athletes has less body fat? Does the sprinter have less body fat or the marathon runner? Now, any two athletes it's going to depend, right? But I'm talking about on average. If I got a group of sprinters and compared their body fat percent to a group of marathon runners, who do you think would be leaner, have less body fat, the sprinter or the marathon runner? Sprinter. So sprinter, I heard sprinter, I heard marathon runner. The sprinter would actually have less body fat, okay? So now what I've told you is the sprinter has more muscle and less body fat, okay? Now, one more question for you. Here's the sprinter again. And here is the marathon runner. Which of these activities burns more calories? Marathon. Now keep in mind, before you this person exercises for seconds to minutes when training for and engaging in their sport. They sprint, they rest for a while, they sprint again. This person runs continuously for hours and hours. So who burns more calories, sprinter or marathon runner? Marathon runner burns thousands more calories. There's no real comparison, right? There's no real comparison here. They burn many, many more calories when training for and engaging in their sport, okay? So, let me just go back because this is very important for you guys to get. I just told you the sprinter has more muscle, right? And I told you the sprinter has less body fat. And then I threw a little wrench into things, right? I said, but... This person burns way more calories. Now, everyone in this room, that should, that should make us think, right? Because what have we been told? Eat less, exercise more, you will lose weight. Okay? And that is true. Except for one problem. Weight loss does not equal fat loss. Okay? And we have been playing the weight loss game. That's the game we have been playing when all along we should have been playing the fat loss game. Weight loss is about hormones, 
Oh, I'm sorry, weight loss is about calories, okay? Fat loss is about hormones. So I'll say that again. Weight loss is about calories, fat loss is about hormones. So when I say hormones, what do you think of? Estrogen, right? Someone said estrogen. Progesterone, testosterone, right? But there are other hormones that go by other names and have actions besides reproduction. They are insulin, glucagon, cortisol, serotonin, dopamine. How many people have heard of serotonin and dopamine? Doctors will give you this if you have low mood or anxiety, right? Right? So here's the interesting thing. Hormones determine the type of calorie you will burn. Just because you're burning calories, those calories may or may not be fat calories. Just because you are losing weight, that weight may or may not be fat. Okay? So the first thing I want you to get, if you get nothing else out of this talk, okay, is weight loss and fat loss are not the same thing. So if, you have, if you're taking notes, write that down, because that's a very important piece of the puzzle as we go through this talk. Now, here's a, everyone knows this, right? Take a look at your average female. Where do they store fat? Hips, thighs, right? Why? Hormones, right? What about men? Where do they store their fat? Right. Kelly and I were at a talk a little while, a couple of days ago, and someone said they stored in their head. <laughs> which, which we did not disagree with, but it's normally the belly. Men store fat in their bellies, primarily speaking, right? So hormones can determine where we store fat. The other thing that hormones can do is they determine things like hunger, energy levels, whether we have cravings or not, okay? Here's a question for you. How many calories does stress have? So you, uh, people say a lot. You can't eat stress, can you? Right? But how many calories does sleep have? Well, you can't eat sleep either. But why are these things so powerful at keeping us from body change? Not because of calories, but because of hormones. Right? Here's another key distinction I want you to get. This is the number two thing you want to write down that is throwing people off. A healthy diet does not equal a fat loss diet. People think if they're eating healthy, they're going to lose fat. Okay, that is not the case. I'm going to give you two diets, okay? Two diets. Here's diet one, meal one. Super Go Lean Crunch cereal. Okay, two and a half cups, six ounces of skim milk, and a large glass of orange juice. Okay, that's meal one. Everyone got that one? Here's meal two. An eight egg white omelet with a cup of mushrooms, a cup of spinach, and a cup of tomatoes stuffed inside. Then a cup of blueberries on the side and a large apple. Which of those two meals, meal one or meal two, has more calories? Meal one has more calories. Which is more food? Meal two, a huge amount of food, right? Most of us could not even eat that big egg white omelet. Why could we not eat it? Because of, the, of what it does to our hormones, hunger hormones like ghrelin and CCK. And not only that, hours after that meal, it sends other hormonal signals that tell us to burn fat. Okay? Two very different meals. There are a lot of healthy foods out there. Whole grains are healthy. Milk is healthy. Nuts and seeds are healthy. Avocado is healthy. None of those foods are going to help you burn fat. Okay? They're healthy, right? But they're not going to help you burn fat. A healthy diet does not equal a fat loss diet. However, a fat loss diet is almost always a healthy diet. So you guys get that distinction? This is a key distinction that all of us in this room need to help people understand because this is what is causing the problem with us not being able to get to body change.